So once you have your bottom cross piece welded in, um, and I, as you can see, I ground off the edges smooth so you have a nice flat surface on this bottom side. Then we're ready to flip it over. So um, whether you have it tacked or clamped down, you might have to cut off some of your tacks. Um, if you only have it tacked on the bottom outside, usually you can just break it loose like so. Nice and easy like that. Um, so I'm just gonna flip this over and then we're just gonna weld these seams on the back side solid at all your junctions and make sure you put a nice weld on the back side of your of your bottom cross piece that we just put in. So weld a nice solid bead here at all your joints and then we'll move on to the next step. So moving on, as you can see here, I uh, got all of the, the welds on the back side welded up solid, including the, the bottom cross member. Got two beads on each side. Uh, I'm sorry, one bead on each side, two beads total. So I just want to give you a couple tricks and tips on grinding these outside edges that we left. So as you can see here, I got the rack clamped off of the edge of the table. That just allows me to have a range of motion. I actually might move this in out a little bit more have a range of motion to go back and forth when you're grinding off these outside welds. So the best way to do this is let's, uh, for this, this weld, for example. So you're going to want to get your grinding wheel and have it flat on the top surface. You're going to want to then grind this off smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I kind of just ground it off level with a flat surface, and I'm gonna do that with the same on this, and we can do it for both of these welds. So just get your disc parallel to whatever surface you want and grind away. So once you get both of your welds um, ground off so that they're parallel with all your angles. I just round off these corners a little bit. So you just kind of go up and down and just rotate your grinder ever so slightly back and forth. And um, just a light touch. Don't push too hard. Just round it off a little bit at a time. So go ahead and do that. And that just gives you the perfect radius. So you can do that for all four of your corners. So I'm just going to assume that you have this side and that side done on the outside. I'm now going to go over the, so you got the radius running on the outside edges of your rack and you're going to want to grind this off, these corners off so that it matches these radiuses. So just tilt your grinder at a 45 degree angle, grind this nub down to flat, flat with the radius and then you just kind of do the same thing, just kind of round it off by moving your grinder back and forth a little bit until your edge matches the radius and it just perfectly blends in with the outside edge of this rack. So as you saw, uh, it's best to do some long passes and kind of blend your grinding into a longer stretch. It just makes it more gradual and once this gets painted or powder coated, you're not even gonna be able to tell there's a weld here. So um, after you get your outside edges and all your corners ground off, you know, let's then grind off these flat, just like we did on the other side. So just use the long passes, don't, don't angle your grinder at all, and just nice and easy until you get a nice smooth surface. And then you can flip it over and do these corners on the other side. So go ahead and do that, and we'll go to the next step. <laughs> 